if we look at this, they say Jacob mm -hmm. wants to save 25,000 to redo his swimming pool. He can afford to save 1,000 per month. Né? The interest uh, rate on his savings account is 6.9% per annum compounded month. How long? Né? How long is the number of years? How long will it take uh, Jacob to save before he will be able to have at least 25,000 into his saving account? This is the first type of question that they can ask us. I also want us to look at this one here. Uh, they say, on number three, they say, how many payments? Né? How many payments they're talking about? And they're not talking about the number of years. So there's a difference between number of payments and then how long. How long I'm asking you the number of years that it's going to take you to actually accomplish this. I'm not asking you the number of payments. So what is the difference between the two of them? The other one is that you will have to divide with the compound, uh, whatever compound that they gave you. If they said compounded monthly, you divide by four. If they said uh, compounded monthly, it's divide. Number of years, yes. Number of years we're going to divide, yeah. Yeah, let's 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 look at this one. We'll see what we are talking about. Yeah, payments. Yeah, but agree here. Here's what we're saying. We're saying they can either ask us how long. They can either ask us number of payments. So be careful there. Number of payments you stop at n. How long you need to divide? It's either going to divide by twelve if they said compounded month. Language. Are going to divide by four if they said compounded quarter. Anyway. So if they say, uh, who's this chaco? Uh, he wants to have 25,000. So this is the future value that we want to have. We want to have 25,000. How much can we afford to pay each and every month? 1,000. 1,000. Our I is the interest, which is going to be 0, 0,069 divided by what? By, by 12. And then Tina, we're looking for what? For, for N. Now what? Now, how do I propose we do this? Again, guys, I repeat, Mina personal. I say, let us work with the formula first and then substitute later. Why? We don't want to make a mistake with the rounding off. Because it affects, this is man, it affects. So we're going to have future value, which is going to be x, one plus i to the power of n minus one. Yeah. So now we want to get n at the end of the day. English. How are we going to get n? Oh, divided by i. We're first going to start by multiplying by i both sides. Multiply by i, multiply by i. It says which you have i f, which is going to be equal to one plus one plus i to the power of n minus one. And then there's an x here. What is the next thing that you're going to do? You're going to divide by x. Divide by x, divide by x. X and x are going to divide each other out. Now it means which we have removed the bigger bracket. Yeah? So if you remove the bigger bracket, then what is it that you are left with? Uh, can I, we have one, F, we have X, which is going to be equal to one plus I to the power of N yeah. minus one. What do we do after that? We take one to this other side. And then I'm going to write this one on the left-hand side. I guess the same thing. I can write it on the left-hand side, but I'm taking this one to this other side. So I'm going to have one plus i to the power of n, which is going to be equal to i f all over x minus one, or it's plus one. Sorry about that. It was negative when it gets that side, it becomes what? Now we are going to introduce the lock. Oh, you can, you wanna hear what you can substitute here because I know which you're not going to make any mistakes here. But personal, I will then say, let's say n is going to be equal to log ne? one plus i, ne? Open another bracket here. You need to open another bracket, which is going to be I F all over X ne? plus one. Ne? <laughs> now you can go and substitute then after this. As soon as you have this, then you can go and sub. And <laughs> is going to be equal to log. Ne? Open bracket, it's one plus. Interest is 0, 0,069 divided by what? By 12. Ne? And then we have our i again, it's 0, 0,069 divided by 12. Multiply by f, what is our f? 25,000. This is all over, all over 1,000. My uh, plus one. And then we're going to type this in our calculator. So what do you have? You have the log, ne? open bracket. You have one plus 
fraction eh? 0.069 all over 12 close bracket eh? and then we have again fraction eh? and then we have zero fraction again fraction again then we have zero comma zero six nine all over 12. this we multiply it by what by twenty five thousand. then this is all over what it's all over one thousand and then after that we do what inside the bracket we subtract one we add one and then we say equals to ne? it gives us which n is going to be 23 23 comma so the number of payments that we're going to have here mashita it's 24 payments 24 payments one of them is going to be less than 1000 mm -hmm. now we are going to have 24 payments but one of them is going to be like, like less than 1000 okay that's not what they are looking for since this month i'm going to divide by two divide oh divide by 12 divide by 12 ne? And then it says which the number of years that we're going to have it's approximately two years. No? So it's going to take him and it's going to be two years. Yeah. Yeah, to the nearest whole number. 